go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There go my crew right there. There go my crew right there. There we. Let me slide. Let me slide in this camera. Cause I'm, I'm over in this camera right here. I had to put you. I had to put y'all on the main camera right there. Yeah, I mean, my boy, go to my homeboy status. Yeah, yo, yo, what's, what's up, up, man? What's going on? That is in the How y'all doing, man? How y'all feeling? Glad to be here, man. Straight up. <laughs> Bro. Glad to be here. I told you, man, we got to get y'all back here, man. Yeah, yeah, you did. I told y'all we got to get y'all back here, man. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Come on, that shit one more time, huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> Bro, yeah, man, this is mixtape. Yeah. Made 20th. It's, 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 it's uh, right hold, there. Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Made 20th? Made 20th. Made 20th. Yeah, 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 it's, on, it's right there. A little bit of everything, man. Straight up. Man, my boy, made, yo, May 20th. Yep, definitely. Now, so, what's the name of the mixtape, bro? What's the name of the mixtape? Grown Man Business. Grown Man Business, man. Grown Man Business. Yep, yeah, man, volume mix, one. Volume one mixtape, baby. <laughs> hold Straight on. Not, not, not no little boy shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you know this Grown Man Business. It's Grown Man. Man, that's what I'm talking about. You already know. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, man. So listen, man. Hold on, man. The last time mm. we had y'all on, uh, you know what I mean? We was vibing hard. Yeah, sure. That's why I said, listen, they got to definitely got to come back. You know what I mean? Show Lo some love. Most definitely. Show the podcast some love. Most definitely. Already, man. <laughs> Beautiful up in here, man. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's man. nice straight up. Oh. <laughs> Hey y'all, look, I got them drinking that wood. Man, he got us uh, drinking that Kentucky. I got that. I got Kentucky us drinking that bourbon. That Kentucky bourbon. You know? <laughs> oh man, you know that we know you do what the bourbon do. Already, man. <laughs> man. Yeah, man. So, fellas, man, how 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 have y'all been, man? Since last time we spoke, man. Oh, man, everything's been cool, man. Definitely good. Straight up, all right. Blessed, blessed, man. Man. straight blessed. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, listen, man, my friends are here, man. You know, what I mean, I I, I can't ask for anything more. Man. Hey man, it's a family affair right now. Man. You know what yeah. I'm hey, listen, up. I've been knowing these fellas for years, man. These 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 boys are my homies, man. Straight out of Philly, mm -hmm. you know how we do. Oh, well, except for yeah, 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 yeah. Philly, you know what I'm saying. Shout out Norristown, you know what I mean. Seven gift over there. That's all good. <laughs> shout out to Norristown, you know. Already, yeah. Shout out. Hey, you know what I mean? hey, listen, man. We we neighbors, man. We all we all the same. Hey, we, all the same. Yeah. we all the same. We all the same. If you're in Pennsylvania, man, we all the same. Correct. Oh, so, already. So if y'all if y'all don't know. We got Nick J. Yes, sir. And we got the gift. Yes, sir. Otherwise known as Status. Status, right. baby. Status. Yeah. Status, baby. <laughs> Hold on, man. First thing, man. Okay. How how did y'all come up with that name? Uh, who man. came up with that name first? Hey, Nick. Man, you know, <laughs> Nick. It, it yeah. was just a it was just a definitive type of uh, thing, man, for us, man. You know, I, I feel yeah. like, you know, the the level of, you know, of with the music and everything that comes with it as far as the business and you know stuff like that man it's just like we we just raising our raising our levels you know what i mean yeah higher and higher man trying to get on a different kind of status you know what i'm saying so like so i figured like you know that's 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 us man <laughs> yeah yeah that's, that status is is, is us you man, know that's what I'm a, it fits you perfect you know what i mean trying to try to get to that next level that that status that next status you know what i'm saying that's us what's up hey, straight well, up we was transitioning from names right yeah sure. uh with the other you know with the old group Mm -hmm. We was trying to figure out names, and Nick threw some names at us, and he, <laughs> he like put it in a text. He said, "Yo, what you think about this?" And I saw it was status, but he spelled it S T A T U Z. I said, "Yo, that's it." Mm -hmm. now, that, that was it. Yep. And I showed my my ex girlfriend at the time. I said, "Look at this." She said, "Oh, that's that, I, that's it." Yeah. And the way it just rolled off, it just made sense, man. And yeah. hey, Nick, now you know, now you know he messed up because <laughs> he said he showed his his, his ex girlfriend. <laughs> So now, a couple of years later, she's like, oh, I want, I want a royalty check from that. Yeah, yeah, no royalty check for it. She's like, I'm not helping with that. I wish you well, though, but you ain't getting no royalty check. Say, that was my idea. That was definitely not her idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's going to be all over the news. Oh, uh, no. TMZ. Uh, no. Getting sued. <laughs> yeah, the gift getting sued. <laughs> Damn. So right. wait a minute, bro. Now, I'm, uh, Nick, I'm, I'm curious, man. Mm -hmm. How did, did, was you just like in the shower one day, bro, and just said, let's, no. It's status. No, it's, no, it's <laughs> I, I think it was just like, you know, um, you know, just like everything that we, we've been through, you know what I'm saying, as far as with, you know, music in our in our lives and our careers and stuff like yeah. that. Um just uh just just the levels that 
we've been coming across and stuff and just you know just overcoming and everything like that man i just felt like that was just that was just it for us right there oh okay you know okay. what i'm saying okay you know what i mean that's just it just hit us like a like a freight train like yo that this is it this that's is it, it. <laughs> Straight up. so now what what genre of music do you do you guys consider or, or that you, you fall under I would say R and B. That's the that's the you know what's true to our heart. That's where yeah. we come from. Yeah. But you know we sing a little bit of everything, man. You know contemporary gospel. We could sing country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing. <laughs> we're vocalists. You know what I'm saying? I play the piano and I sing. So you know he's saying he's been doing this forever. We can do hip hop. Doesn't really mm-hmm. matter. We can do a black tie affair and sing some Sinatra. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, that just like oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Straight up. Yeah, man. This is what we do, man. That's what we've been doing. We've been singing i remember i think i saw someone lana richie they had um they didn't want him to to put out the song the label didn't want him to put out the song um all night long oh he for was, real yeah they they try to box him he said i don't want you as an artist don't ever feel boxed right he said because i make music for the world yeah yeah you know what i'm saying and right. i kind of felt that you know what i'm saying so that's i think that's what we do is whatever we feel but our base would be r&b mm. you know what i'm saying but uh whatever we feel at the time man you know what I mean? That's what it is. Yeah. That's what's up. That's Straight what's up. up. That's a, so wait, I'm curious, man. How did you guys come together, man? man. Well, I've known Nick Sheesh since the early 2000s, man. Uh, they used to um, D Wood. Shout out to D Wood. Yeah. He used to um, hey, hold on, man. Listen, let's, let's, let's get D some flowers, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to D Wood. Shout out to D Wood, man. Uh, he would host, you know, a lot of these R&B shows and different open mics, and at, and they would have them at the eighth floor. And um, mm-hmm. uh, remember, it used to be A Street Lounge and uh, Warm so. Daddies in different places, and um. I already kind of knew of Nick because of no question. You know what I'm saying? So Nick had come in there, you know, he had the braids at the time. <laughs> uh, it was great. I remember him. <laughs> he'd come in there with the braids and he would just get on stage swagged out and murder it. You know what I'm saying? And me, I was more like laid back, but I was like, that's when I was raw. I just was running all over the place, doing runs. And one day Nick heard me sing and he was he had did his set and he brought me on stage with him and he like gave me the mic and I just went crazy. Then he just from there we just kept in touch and kept in touch yeah, and yeah. he hit me up one day and was like listen I got a situation you know with a group would you be interested and I thought about it for a second I was like I didn't really know the other you know members I didn't yeah, know the other guys yeah. but I knew Nick so I said you know what let's try it so we tried it you know it went good for a minute but then it, it didn't last and then me and him had that musical chemistry our voices mm-hmm. just matched yeah so we knew that we were going to keep going together mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so we just we formed a bond man and we here man we status you know what i'm saying that's what's up we all ready yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, so nick tell, tell tell us your story bro man it's a it's a, it's a long one i mean I, <laughs> hey, look. hey man, shit, hey. man bro we got time dog hey man well, you know, it's just um I mean I've been I've been singing for a while, man, and mm-hmm. in, in, in and out of groups and everything through Philly and uh just meeting a lot of different talent in Philly, yeah. man. It's crazy talent. This city's just overwhelmed with it is and they they talent. sleep they sleep yeah. on us, man. Straight up, man. Just um being blessed to, you know, meet a meet a, the, the the vocalist that I've been around and you know, including like, you know, music soul child and mm-hmm. You know s- stuff like that. You know what I'm saying. Um, my man Ryan and Dante from my uh, my former group, no question. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You know uh, Tommy and and you know rest in peace, Damon, whatever. You know what I'm saying. No question. Um, just getting with them and and learning from that experience and uh, being signed to a major label and uh, you know just being independent. You mm-hmm. know what I mean. Uh, Moving on, future wise, with to INC the uh, group we was we started we started up that I, I asked my brother to join yeah. and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, with Million Music and yeah. stuff like that. So uh, you know, they ain't paying out, whatever. But you know, it's still all love, man. You know, between us and everything, man. and uh, and you know, just now, just being here now. You know what I'm saying? Stats making that good music. You know, that's. Coming out again, May twenty. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey man, hold up, bro. Hey, Say it again, dog. Wait, May no. twenty hey, on, again, man. Hey. on all music platforms. <laughs> grown man grown business man. is by one. Know this grown man yeah. business, don't you? Yeah. Hey, hey man, you can't be in this business if you ain't a grown up. man already. Yeah, I mean. now nah, we can bring. We trying to bring back that love.
love, that relationship, that yeah. mm-hmm. breakup, you know, sex, a little bit of everything, man. Like, Definitely. you know, we just, inspiration, all that, man. Like, you know, it's a little, all that stuff is kind of lost right now. Yeah, Yo, man, you know, it's crazy. It's funny you mentioned that, man, because it's hard, it's hard to, to sit back and just hear some good R&B. Yeah. I'm talking about, remember back in the day, man, you should just put that, you put that shit on, man, you you just let it ride, man. Right. Nah, nah, nah it, ain't, it ain't that now. Nah, it ain't that, man. The attention span ain't the greatest, man. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. You can't have songs more than two, three minutes. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you know, uh, what's the song of Tony, Tony, Tony anniversary? was yeah. like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Straight up. <laughs> but and know, then the way it stopped and then it came back on. <laughs> yeah. But see, here's the thing. If, if it's good music, correct, yeah. then you can get away with it. You can get away with it. Exactly. Good but music I'm, will always outlast everything. That's true. Up. Man, I listen, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hold you, man. I can't even name a good R and B song or contemporary R and B song unless it's like from my era. Right, right, right. Cause I I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm like and then they want to get the mumble rappers on it. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I, man, first of all, I understand yeah. what the fuck you were singing. <laughs> well, I noticed that. You understand what the fuck he rap. Well, I noticed that they're taking R&B smooth beats and putting like rappers on yeah. it. Yeah. Singing melodies on it. Yeah. That, that they trying to call that kind of the new R&B. And it's like, nah, bro, that's not. I like the vibe. I like the, I like yeah, the yeah, movement. Yeah. But that ain't R&B, man. Right. Yeah. Nah. Well, or they'll, they'll just sample. Correct. A, a old, mm. a old that's head. What yeah, do, yeah, sample old head and try but, to. But it's, it's in, in a sense it's, it's 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 smart too to keep people reminded. Yeah, of I'm not mad at that. The, the, uh, you know, what I mean, them them good at songs in the, in the early '90s. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and you know what I mean? And even in the uh, late '80s and stuff like that, the, the songs is just the timeless songs. Just you know what I mean? Just putting them on different genres that just yeah. have you rem, you know reminisce and everything like that. Whatever. Just trying to keep it alive, I guess. You know what I mean? So I can't knock it. it you know what I'm saying myself. I can't and knock it but too yeah. much. You know what I mean? But now I'm curious, how did how do you write a song, man? So because both of you guys are songwriters. Yeah. Right, right. Trust. Um it really honestly, it depends, man. You know, it could be like I'll hear a beat or I'll come up with something and mm-hmm. I'll, be, I'll call Nick like, yo man, this is the idea I had. Right. And Nick will be like, Well, send me a voice clip. Yeah. They send it to me. Next thing you know, a day, couple days later, Nick like, yo. I got a whole song. He done wrote two, three verses, <laughs> right? Or it's the other way around. I may have a whole song, and then I come to him like, Straight it's, it's, that's how we do it. Or he'll come to me like, yo, I got this song. Like what we did, we had a song that's been out called Getaway. Right, yeah. Nick wrote it, you know what I mean? Wrote his verses and everything. And he like, I was like, wow. He sung the whole thing to me over the phone. I still got the original voice clip. <laughs> Listen, man, look, I am in awe of you guys' talents, man. I oh, thank appreciate you, man. I'm all, cause it, it takes... So much um, natural ability, gift to, to to write a song, mm-hmm. put it together, know what you're you're you, you, you're listening to, know what you're doing. Yo, man, that that's a gift, man. Oh man, that's, that, that, that's a gift, man. I'll, I always tell you, man, don't waste your gift, man. At yeah. all, okay, yeah, man. It's got. I gave it to us, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know you can take it away. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Easy, easy. There you go. Easy, yeah. man. So it's definitely gotta use it, man. And and the one thing about music, man. Even when I had label a couple years back, man, right, I've right. always told my artists, man. Look, music is it's like a, a time machine, right? You know, what I mean, you your stamp, mm-hmm. your your voice, your essence. Is going to be is going to remain forever. Always, you know. What I mean, your like your this, children's this children forever. This, yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 this right here. Yeah, you know. What I mean, your okay. children children can watch it. Correct. Correct. You know. What I mean, and so you, you know, you should never just take it for granted. Man, my uncle before he passed, he said. It's not about how long you live. It's about what you did while you was here. Yeah, what did yeah. you leave? What did you? What impact did you make on people? Exactly. Yeah. And when he said that, it resonated with me. And I'm like, I know what I need to do. Because I know a few years ago, I had severe laryngitis. And I and I understand, I lost my voice. I was whispering. I was writing things down. Mm. Uh, this was like the, the after the highest of me meeting yeah, him. Yeah. I met him and then we, you know, didn't talk for about a few years. Mm-hmm. I was, you know, kind of doing my own thing. But what happened was... My, my father died, my mom remarried, and she moved to Israel. So I was depressed, I was sad. Mm. And I, I didn't want to sing, so I would go places, and people would ask me to sing, and they would be like, well, I heard you can sing, and I'm like, no, I'm okay, I'll just play. And I know that God took my voice. Mm. So when I had, I, when I lost it, 
I prayed to him and I said, if you give me my voice back, I don't care if one person asked me to sing, I'm sick. So when he gave it back to me, he put me to the test. So now I can't <laughs> say You know no. what? I'm going to put that to the test. <laughs> I can't say no now because I made a vow. So it's like, but I understood the importance of the gift he gave me was is to utilize and to touch other people and to help mm-hmm. someone else out. So I said, all right. You gave it to me. I gotta use it. Yeah, I got. I gotta use it. I that's gotta it. Use it. That's and that's stuff. and that's the that's the uh, that's the purpose, man. Like you know, what I'm saying just it's just a touch, touch. If it's one or two, three people in mm-hmm. everything, the ten, the ten thousand or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like to change somebody's life. You know what I'm saying with the with the music. You know what I'm saying whether. You know, they feeling a certain way, man, changing their mood, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The frequency, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to yeah. get everybody on a different vibration, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what it is. So now uh, with with uh, with the group, is it easier to have a two man group than a four man group? Because it seems like all of our groups are breaking up. Dog. Honestly, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? It, <laughs> because it's it's it's, it's Contending when one idea and we can kind of even if we clash a little bit, right. it ain't four. People you can work clashing. it out. Yeah, it, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. When you got a personality here, a personality here, then we got to I got we got to deal with three other people. Mm-hmm. It, it's a lot, man. But you it's know, a lot easier to split it two ways and four ways. But it's still, you know, <laughs> shout out to the ones that stood together, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Jack and Edge, and, man. you know what I'm saying. I mean, shoot, not even one, not even one song, bro. Jack and Edge, I can say Jack and Edge because they they'd have been the longest tenure yeah, group. Yeah, and Joe, yeah. you know what I'm saying, Joe to see, you know, they still on the road doing their thing together. You know what I'm saying. But wasn't that one point they they. They went their separate ways. I mean, yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah, but came back I think together. Be, oh, and New Edition, man. I mean, New it's edition, just yeah. all in the plan, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got, you know, a certain talent and a certain uh, ideas they want to, you know, uh, broaden to mm-hmm. different uh, audiences that they feel they want to get to. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they did it. I mean, they did it. You know what I'm saying? They were successful at it, too. You know what I'm saying? And they came back together to get, you know, to get that, get that bread, man. That's and, yeah. and it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't easy, man. It ain't man. easy. And that's what they are. I, I know it's difficult, man. Dang, especially the new dish. They got like what six? <laughs> so, <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, him, me and him, it's 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 not hard, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now wait a minute, now who takes the lead? Man, that's, I, I, that's, I, I, how, how do you guys work that? We it, we it's, both do it. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, it's some songs that require. I can tell you like this: some songs require power. Yeah. And uh-huh. for somebody to really drive it home, that's when Nick comes into me. Right. That's how I feel. And some some songs require smoothness Smooth. and laid back. Yeah. And that's more me. That's when you, that's that's when you come in. Now, can I get G powerful? Money. Yes. Can he get smooth? Yes. yes. But he's more power than I am. So, like, I had a song uh, that I helped write called um, Are You Still There? He drives the song home. It's a, lo- it's a love song, uh, like, mm-hmm. about how you're missing a person you wonder if they still think about you if they still love you you know what i'm saying it's it's a real powerful song and nick is the perfect person to take to kind of take it there so yeah that's, you know what i mean that'll, that'll that's be a on the ep song too. that's well, a, that's you, a ep john that's the ep song that's what i'm saying you ain't putting it on the mixtape no mixtape not the mixtape but that's some but the EP man is definitely going is, is a life changer in everything. I can't wait for you, uh, people to hear that too. Yeah. Oh man, Straight listen. Up. All I want to know is man, when y'all shoot the video, I'm there, dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I mean, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be I'll that joint. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> you know, gotta give me like a little pretty model, <laughs> something got, like I that. You, you know. You <laughs> <laughs> my boys, my boys, take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, now what sets status apart from other groups, especially groups in Philadelphia? Um. I, well, I can say that we are bring, we still have that Philly sound. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I think the separation is just um, just the mentality, man. Like you know, what I mean, we don't want to be we don't have the mindset of just being here. We want to we want to be everywhere. We want right. to be you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be stuck with just you know a Philly sound. I want it to be a worldwide sound. Yeah. Even though Philly did groom us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And Nar- shout out to Narshtown. Narshtown groomed us too. So I would say what sets us apart, man, is just like flat footed singing, um, musicianship. And and not stuck in the genre. We can, uh, like I said before, we can literally sing anything. And we're trying to bridge the gap from the '90s and the 2000s till now. Yeah. And so okay. we we're trying to bring that old school, but with this new school flavor, maybe bridge the gap a little bit. You know, it still puts you in the mind of the '90s, but like, oh, I can hear that 
it still put a little twist to it. Yeah, so, yeah. So we're just trying to do something different, man. That's and, and with status, you always gonna get you ever gonna get flashy, fly, fresh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, please, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You know y'all boys, y'all y'all boys clean the death. Hey, man, you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Look, man, it, it's just it just got it just got to be that way, man. It's all it's uh, uh presentation is always presentation, you know what I'm yeah. man. Yeah, straight up. So now I'm I'm, I'm curious. Um, what's your take on? On on independent labels, you know what I mean, or or let me let me rephrase that. Would you guys sign to a major label or just stay independent? Um, honestly, what I've learned, it really depends. Yeah. It depends on the type of deal that that you can that, work that, out. That you yeah. can work out because it's not it's not about what you're worth; it's about what you can negotiate. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So if we can get, you gotta go. I watched something where God said you gotta. If you're going to sign to a label, make sure they specialize in certain things that you need. Mm. Like, Ooh. if you're going, you know, you know what Live Nation is. They specialize in concerts. They have the venues. Yeah. So if you were to sign to Live Nation for concert purposes, it makes sense. Right. I'm not going to sign to a label that doesn't has to go through something by else just to get concerts of different things or whatever. And then, yeah. they, then you got to break down and they're taking 360 from everything. And, mm-hmm. you know, if it makes sense, then yes, a major yeah, is good because they can sense. push you to the masses. But independent, you know, you're you going to have to do more work, but you get yeah. the, you get to reap the benefits. <laughs> yeah, full time. <laughs> exactly. Straight up. So it really depends on the situation. And if you got the right team and they push you right and everybody's willing to work, and, you know, there's nobody trying to con you like they can do yeah. something for you that they really can't do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because I've we've been through that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, oh man, and I know he's been yeah. through that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the one thing about the music, the music business, I've always said, and I know this is a terrible analogy to use. The music business is like the drug business, man. You <laughs> no, it is. You got to be on your p's and q's. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Or someone will take you. Listen, under. you got to watch them fast talkers and yeah. all that. All you know right. what I mean? People, you know, they especially when you don't know no better, they know. You don't know no better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and they I, get you. We've been fortunate to been, you know, to been through, you know, bad contracts and different things, and work with different people. So we kind of see it from a mile away. So it was like it's less tolerance now. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, ah, uh, nah, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I'm cool. yeah, trust. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> you're like, man, you off me a bad deal like that. I'm gonna see when they shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro, it's me and you outside this restaurant. Oh, man. <laughs> Are they still offering 360 deals? Because I know that has to be almost know, dead I'm and gone. Sure. I'm pretty sure. Not, but the way independent labels are blowing up now, you got a point. You got yeah, a point. you know, man. The way social media has it's oh, strong, yeah, strong, yeah, so a strong presence in the music, the music yeah. industry. You know, TikTok has a strong presence yeah, yeah. in the music industry. You know, I mean, it's almost like you can just blow up on TikTok and you really don't need no label. Trust. Yeah, I mean, you it's just, true. Yeah, you and, get, and they're afraid of that too. So you gotta. You know, so we and do I'm got sure the they leverage, to control it. Yeah. yeah, but they but they always find a way to control it. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you just gotta make up your mind what you want to do and what you what you know what I mean what's best for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. best for us in this situation. You know what I mean, so yeah. well, I mean that's that's also is good when you have a good manager. Correct. Yeah. You know what I mean? Got a good manager and you know watching your back. Yeah, straight up. That's shout, out, shout out to Malik, man. Shout out to Malik. There you go, dog. There you go, dog. You gotta shout out to this man. <laughs> I, I, I used to be a manager. So I gotta look out for the manager. Got to, man. <laughs> All right. So wait, now I'm curious, man. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with you, Gavin. How did you get into this music business, or how did you start singing? Oh. Huh. Well, I or was, did I say when did you start singing? I was, I was um singing in my house, <laughs> like in my room. When I, I'm gonna take it back when I had a Walkman. Oh you know I man! So <laughs> I'm listening to Seven Camel. Can we talk? And I'm on my way to church with my mom. Yeah. I'm just singing. She like you got a nice voice. Now mind you, at the time, I was anointed to play the piano. Okay. So they, the church anointed me to you know uh, Temple Bethel and watch uh, off of Louisville Avenue in Washington Lane, uh, uptown. They prophesied it on me and said, you know, you will play, you're going to play and it's going to amaze, you're going to amaze yourself and it's going to happen overnight. I flagged it like, yeah, okay. I was like 12. My mom bought me this little keyboard and I started playing everything I heard. Mm. I was like, I didn't even hear it. I I still to this this day don't understand how I do it. I just can't. So I started playing everything back and next thing you know, know, I'm singing to myself, not knowing if I sound good or not, but my mom Mm. told me, I'm like, you just saying that because you're my mom. (laughs) So, she made me sing for her. And it was a Mother's Day uh, like program at, at my uh, temple. Yeah. And I did not want to sing. I was upset. 
<laughs> and I stood, I stood up there with my hands in my pocket with an attitude and sung, and I, and I had my eyes closed. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, everybody was standing on their feet. I was like, word. Oh. Then, I start, then I started, you know, taking chorus and voice lessons and stuff in high school. And then my um, chorus teacher, Mr. Tompkins, was like, you have a beautiful voice, man. Like, I want to work with you. And he just started showing me how to breathe. And next thing you know, I was just getting better and better. And then, I didn't, like, a singing was never really my thing. It was, yeah. I wanted to play. Yeah. I just liked to play. But singing came. And it came natural. So... Now I love it. You know what I mean? I try to not do it, but God said, nah, that's what you're doing. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, it is I, I it is. gave you this gift, but you're going to use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, Nick. Hey, man. Break it down, bro. I mean, I, th I think it's just like, uh, you know, my mom, she was she was a, a singer around, you know, Philly and everything, the tri-state area and stuff. She was in she was in multiple groups and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Also, she had, she had the same background with Patti LaBelle for a short period of time. You know what I'm saying? Um... But my mom was dope, you know what I mean? She had a beard yeah. and all that, you know what I'm saying? I, I learned from my mom just listening to her over and over again. I used to listen to like little cassette tapes and her tape, you know, taping me when I was like a little, you know, a little kid, like six, seven years old. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? So like she would she would uh sing sing notes and uh make me, you know, make me a uh, mock her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I would do, you know, do what she do. You know what I'm saying? And I and you know, just I think you know, having that instilled in me uh, coming up, you know, as a teenager and everything through my teenage years and going to Brook and being in the music program, Mr. Island. Shout out to Mr. Island, my uh, choir teacher, you yeah. know, my uh, music teacher in, in Brook. You know what I'm saying? He, he was one of the guys that, that pushed me too, you know what I'm saying? To actually, you know, really, you know, want to you sing and it. everything like that. You know what I'm saying too, you know what I mean? So him and my friends, you know, all my all my friends knew how to sing. You know, what I'm saying Ryan and I'd say, you know, uh, you know, even music soul child back in the day. Yeah. You know, before soul child, it was just you know Tyler. You know, what I'm saying, and you know the rest of my homies and stuff. Meeting meeting the give. You know, what I mean, back in the day. You know, what I'm saying, just all my friends and stuff like that. Just, I just, I just really wanted to do this, man. You know, what I'm saying. So, but uh, I think the main main. Uh, Reason I wanted to sing is just seeing Jodeci on Apollo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like killing it, I man. Do that. So I said, yo, <laughs> I see the style, the the you know what I mean, the the vocals, the the presence, man. I said, yo, I want I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? So like from there, man, it just you know, that's when I just knew, man, it's off the back. I gotta, you know, I gotta do this, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. So man, get, give our listeners man some of, some of the behind the scenes <laughs> of the music business. Oh man, you know what I mean? Because a lot of them think it's just all glitz and glamour. Nah, it it, it it ain't man. I mean, for the most part, man, the, the the decent thing about it is just meeting meeting the different artists, busting it up with them, and like you know, mm. like it's like you know, like like it's regular people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's almost like school or something. You know what I'm saying? Meeting different cats and everything, and. uh then you got you got ones that's you know maybe a little high on their horse and everything, but yeah. you know, probably because they've been there so long. You dig what I'm saying? But you know it's 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 cool for the most part, and then then it's the other half and everything. When when uh when you when you're doing a pro, promo tour, you think you're doing a promo tour for like a year or two, and it ain't really a promo tour. You you find out you're getting paid, and you you and know you don't, you, get you, you don't get paid. And the, and wow. the pay, yeah. the, uh, the the shows you think is promo that you don't get paid. You're getting paid for it, and somebody's robbing you. You know what I'm saying? And everything, man. You, you know that, and then dealing with the you know uh, <laughs> just the politics of of the business of of the music shit that mm -hmm. makes me crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. You know, you just gotta be, you know, on your on your p's and q's, like you said, on, on your game, man, and just yeah. knowing what you're getting, your percentages, and and you know what I'm saying, getting the stuff squared away in, yep. in the studio, making sure you got uh got your music and everything, your your, uh, your masters and stuff and everything like that, making sure you paying for your own own shit so you can yeah. own your own yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? And making sure that you Straight got the up. right people around you. Exactly. If you're dealing with a label and all that too, you know what I'm saying? Because you know their job is to try to make you famous and everything. They ain't worried about you getting rich. Nothing like that You know what I'm saying That's supposed to come later You know what yeah. I'm saying But they They trying to pocket back Whatever they They, they you know put they it spending to you. They yeah. trying to recruit Yeah Recruit it all Yeah man Straight up So you know what I mean Like 
Well, that, that's why I, I didn't mind going the independent route, man, because you know you're going at your own pace. You know what I'm saying, and uh, mm -hmm. touching one person at a time. You know what I'm saying, intimately. You know what I'm saying? You could do a show with like maybe 10, 12, 20 people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They spread out. People there, they they put their phones there anyway. They they recording you and passing the word and everything. Like, this is a word of mouth thing now and stuff like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's all I'm taking and it back to the group. Up, you know what I'm saying? All you need is like 30, 20, 30 seconds of you doing your thing and hey, check these, you know what I mean? Check these cats out, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And and hey, that thing is traveling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I mean, it's something I don't I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Independent is cool, you know what I'm saying? I I my first I, I'm gonna tell you my first independent situation though was with uh was with was with uh Koch at the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like and I and I, I don't I rarely ever talk about this situation because the guy that brung us to you know, brung me to that uh to that deal or whatever, he had he had got killed in LA. This is when Koch before they became Koch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? And and the offer was a was a half a M on the table. You know what I'm saying? And the 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 brother um he used to handle Eclipse back then, you know what I'm saying? And Mario and everything. He had got he had got killed in LA unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? My deal didn't it didn't go uh, it didn't go it didn't, through. It didn't you know go through after that. It was a it was a hurt piece, man, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was like my first time being you know what I mean by myself and I mean, I was trying for a long time. I was hanging out with Swiss Beats, Father, and all this stuff like that, man, in, in New York, Harlem, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And just trying to trying to find my place and stuff, even with the good music, you know what I'm saying? With Kanye back then, you know what I'm saying? Before uh, before John Legend really, you know, popped off and everything. Like, I got... Because I think back then, you was going to... You, you was stepping off. I was going... Yeah, I was... The, you was you going, know, going in a lot of different... Yeah, you, well, you were not independent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And my man, he was... You know, the gift, he was he was with... um. What's my man name? Eddie Hustle. Eddie Hustle and stuff, man. The, the guy that wrote... Uh, he remind me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. About Usher and stuff like that, man. He was doing his thing with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, our, cro our paths crossed crazy. You know what I'm saying? At times. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But... I mean, it was a grind, man. So, like, <laughs> it's still a grind, man. It's but grind, it, brought us, man. it brought us head, it brought, you yeah. know, together. <laughs> you dig? You know what I'm saying? So, well, you I, know, so, man, God, God, God got plans, man. Hey, I realized that plans, God man. has plans, man. man. You, man. Straight you up. You know what I mean? You don't. You may not know what it is, but He has plans for exactly. you. Exactly. Because yeah. I would never f figure we would be here. So that's yeah. how you know we got. That's how you know it's, it's for a reason, like it's it, it is. It Definitely. is. Definitely. It is. That's something like when I. Because you remember when I had the label, right? And you know it was after Grizz passed away. Right, right, right. And I, I shut Jeez, it down. Grizz, man. Yeah, it's the I, green light. Yeah, <laughs> that's my man. That 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 that's my family. Yeah. I, you know, I shut it down, man. I just I just lost my interest in just even just doing music or working with labels and artists. Because right. uh, like I said, even you had to be on your game, man. Like, yeah, sure, sure. You know, I mean, my my first conversation, I had a conversation with Jimmy Iovine, right. um, and it was a couple of people that I met. And I just lost the passion for it. Man. I just know after he passed away, I said, "Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it." And then I picked the passion up just to just do this podcast, do right. broadcasting. Right. Um, I said, "Yeah, now, now I could my blood is True. boiling again." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but then now I'm on the other side. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so now you know what I mean. I'm, you know, man. talking to you guys. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what Blessings, I mean, man. Blessings. Hey, man. Listen, man. We 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 here. We got to take each other. We we Philly, man. We got yeah. all day, man. We we got we got to look after each other, man. Yeah. We have to. You know. So listen. So what's the plans for you guys, man? Man, more music, more shows, man. Uh, uh, clothing line, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, status, status clothing oh, line. Status head on. Oh, you know straight up. Um, we 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 definitely trying to get into the uh, trying to get into everything, man. You know, status clothes, the uh, the. Trying to get into like the champagne, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get, get some stat, you know. You know, hey, look, we got we, we got stuff, you know, in the works. You know what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Saying? Look, don't give out too many. Yeah, yeah, we're right. trying to hop on some tours, tours, tours man. straight up. Yeah, hey. trying to hop on these tours <laughs> out here. Man. Yeah, I mean, we don't want people to be like, oh, my idea is still in the They doing what? Hey, man. They doing what? Stands LLC is on is on deck. Oh yeah, we are. We, don't worry, we are. We we legit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like this, now nah, you can try to sell it. You can try. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> so so, what are some of the challenges that you guys face as a group? Um, well, I want to say as a duo. 
Well, the, ch- the challenges right now, like that we facing, like right now, it's like because collectively, just me and him together, mm-hmm. it, like we we're new to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a it's like an extra extra. Girl. It's like you start it's like over. that. You know, right? we start over. From over scratch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People don't know. You know how how bright the diamond is right now. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's we definitely in the rough right now. You know what I'm saying. Before they see it shining and everything, and that's that's cool. You know what I'm saying. I I I, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying. Like I'm, you know, it's it's, it's God's way of telling us like, look, your time's coming. You yeah. know, just keep you know just keep at it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Just keep yeah. Running. Keep doing what you're doing. And, and don't don't give up. Yeah, yeah man. And, and balancing family life exactly and you know personal life with what i'm using that's yeah. that's that's probably the biggest challenge you yeah. know what i'm saying yes yeah. i mean let the listen the the work ethic you have to have to yeah and doing this man this yeah, it, man. It's, it's almost incredible it ain't for everybody it is man it's almost, mm-hmm. it's almost incredible no i could tell you a story I, I had a girl had a girl singer a uh, young girl mm-hmm. uh very she was talented she was talented man hella talent man but she just couldn't get her mind right. right. You know what I mean? Um, Twiz wound up doing the song for her. And, yo, I, I sent the song, yo, uh, I sent the song to uh, uh, Trick Daddy. Mm. Um, I sent the song to Jimmy Iveen. I sent the song out, out LA. And, yo, they loved it. Right. They was like, listen, we just want to hear one more from her. Right, right. And getting her to just get get back with Twiz and just mm-hmm. get in the studio that, yeah. man that, that was a challenge so I set up like a a, a promo show for her mm-hmm. and she just had some sort of meltdown oh wow yeah. Ain't for everybody. Killed, the whole, killed that whole deal. Yeah, yeah man. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't for the week, hey, bro. Yeah, for the, you ain't yeah, mentally there. Yeah, straight yeah. up. You gotta have that. You gotta. You gotta be able to stay in this thing. Yeah, and yeah. go through it. Like I, I got discouraged lots of times, but mm-hmm. I realized the more you stay in, it, if this is what you do, and this is what God calls you to do, yeah. you gotta stay in it, man. It'll get, your time will come. Yeah, Definitely. it will. It will. And you just gotta keep it. I mean, because me, my, I was like, damn. This close. Yeah. Some, some this people, close to negotiating a major label deal that would have propelled every artist that I had under, under the umbrella. But and, and some people, man, some some people unfortunately like fold under the lights and everything too, man. You yeah, know what I'm man. saying? That's why, you know, back in the day, man, they used to have you know, one thing they took took away now that was really helpful to artists back then was artist development. You know what I'm saying? And they would groom them to get yeah. ready for them bright lights and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Fortunately, you know, me and the gift, man, we, we just, we've been around mm-hmm. that, that atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? So we prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just like, you got to be on it, man. Just prepared all the time. Gotta man. be ready you know for it, man. Yeah. Never know. You know what what I mean? stay, stay ready so you don't gotta get it right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> yeah, stay ready so you yeah, gotta get yeah. it right. straight up. I'm like, bro. put me in the game, coach. Hey, you are ready. ready. Put me in the game. That's like a boxer's mentality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, for real too. Gotta eat. Almost gotta gotta have a boxer mentality with <laughs> yeah, everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, man. I, like straight I said, I know up for me, I was like. You know, because I think I had like about four or five artists in my camp at the yeah, time. Yeah, and they was dope too. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> they choose the youngest one mm. out of the group. You know, I had Grizz, because Grizz was putting out his, man. He yeah. had the song with Gilly. Yeah. He had the joint with you, with you in it. Oh, yeah. man, he was, listen, the boy was, the boy was hella talent. Yeah. You know, he was a actor, rapper. Yeah. He was, he was, he was a hella talent. And I'm like, God, got all these dope cats in there, and they choose the youngest one. You like that, and I think, like I said, under the pressure, I think it was it, it was too much. Listen, know what's Her mother called me because mm. the, 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 the showcase that I set up for her. Her mother called, and she was like, well, "What are you what What are you doing to my daughter?" I'm like, "Well, <laughs> what are you talking about? You over here crying?" Uh, I'm like, "What?" what I, listen, I'm not doing nothing to you. I, you know, put her on the phone. All right. I say, yo, listen, you better get your shit together. Cause you got to show You got show tonight, and I got all these people coming. Right. You better get your shit together. <laughs> she never showed up. Damn. Man. Never uh, folded. Ne- folded. For when I had it down Damn. there at Manny Young's, I had people that coming. They were coming in to town. Oh, oh wow. Never showed up. Damn. You know, so I mean, but I guess God had different plans for me. Hey. You know what I mean? God. So now I, I, I want to ask, what's the, 
I, I, I want to get you guys ideas on on we talked about you mentioned artist development right you know so give me ideas so i'm i'm an i'm, I'm a young artist you know what i mean so i'm i'm, I'm opening up for you guys mm -hmm. and i'm give me give me some pointers help me out you know what i mean well you know, what, what, what 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 do i need to do <laughs> well hey you definitely need to be practicing constantly yeah. as if you're in that moment like uh -huh. you know don't don't be afraid to be in your mirror and you know talk <laughs> yeah talk, like you talking like you talking to the crowd like do whatever whether you rap or sing whatever the case may be try to you know relax as much as you can i used to i used to find a niche like eddie hustle used to tell me because i was raw talent when i met him mm -hmm. he used to tell me if you if you feel afraid to look at people wear sunglasses mm. Oh, and I would wear That's sunglasses. A idea. <laughs> and I would wear sunglasses, and it's like, for some reason in my mind, they can't see me, but I can see them. Mm. That's just a trickery of your mind, so you can yeah, get. Right. And, and it used to, it used to work. Or they say pick a spot or, or a woman or something in the crowd, they just stare at her and mm. sing to her and focus on on. Her. Yeah, that way you don't see all these people. But this is to the point now I can look at everybody. Like right. you know what yeah. I mean? So it's not. It's not it's not that deep, but that was, the, you know, some of the development I would have, you know, I would learn like, you know, what I mean, like it was he gave me extensive like artist development, man. like mm. like tough love kind of thing. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I had to, like I had to learn too that the booth and singing live is two different things. Yeah. Singing in the booth will humble you. Cause it lets you know oh, the notes that oh, you're not yeah. hitting, and it lets you know you can be a singer your whole life, and you hit a notes like yo, that's all. That you're, you're not yep, that guy. Yo, you need to polish yourself. You ain't what you think you are. You ain't him. So the boot <laughs> humble is the greatest singer. So I had to, I had to learn that, learn how to sing with one ear off, uh, one earphone off, so I can hear myself. Like I'm just like it's just certain things, little niche, little things I had to learn, man. Mm. And then some, some like like Nick said, some. Some moments make people fold and some moments make people rise. Mm -hmm. I it makes me sing better. Right. When it's a lot of people and I feel nervous, I'm going I'm gonna kill it. Him same way. I don't yeah. why it's like that. I guess it lets lets us know you either got it or you don't. Yeah. So it's like, you know. It's like you know, they, they tell you, man, take that moment, man. This is a, a once in a life opportunity, man. This can make or break you right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take this moment, grasp it. And, and and give it all you got, man, because this could be your last, man. Correct. Straight up. Correct. Yeah. You get smoked tomorrow yeah. and everything, man. And, and none Never of that know, shit man. you did matter. None of it matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, straight yeah. up. It's the truth. It's the truth. I mean, the way craziness we got going on. <laughs> For real. Wild out here, man. You know, I mean, but, it, it, you know, what you said about focusing, focusing on one person. Right. Um, even the, when, when I played sports, um, you know, cause I played, when I played college ball, it was you really when you in the moment, you don't you don't see you don't even you don't see the crowd. You don't hear the crowd. You you see nothing except right. what's in front of you in the, on, on the field. Yep. Is it is it like that when you're on stage? You Honestly, see the yeah, crowd? Yeah. I mean, it's you like do, that. You, you feed you can feed off it. You know, especially if they're encouraging, you can feed it. It's definitely, you know, you can feed off it. But definitely if you get into a zone. Were you singing or whatever the case may be? No, you won't. You're you're in your own world. You now I mean, I remember I saw something with Jennifer Hudson. They had asked her, it was like, uh, do you get nervous? She said, every single time until I open my mouth. Mm -hmm. What? She said, <laughs> she said, every time until I start singing. Is that the same with you guys? Do you guys get yeah, nervous? Yeah, we human, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. Straight up. It's always it's some some nerves here. Always. But you, you know, you've been doing it for years. Yeah, definitely. It, it doesn't matter. Even the, the greats like Brandy and everything. They yeah. Can, they, you know what I'm saying? They because you want to you wanna perform and you want to give it your best. Yeah. You want people to like what you're doing. Exactly. So, you know what I mean? So, yes, yeah, so you get a little nervous, you know, at times. I remember, <laughs> I remember one time I got so nervous. I forgot the whole words to a song I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got listen, a, that, I'm, talking that a about, I'm talking about a song that I've been singing for years that I that I wrote. I got up there and I had to play the piano. I played it off because I played the piano. So I played the piano for like a good two, three minutes and they thought I had an interlude. There wasn't no interlude. I forgot the song. Hey. So I finally get hit me. I said, whoa. So then I started singing and they thought, they was like, man, that was a nice little piano. I was like, oh, thank you, man. 
man. I just got the word. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so what? Yeah, have that ever happened to you, bro? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, hey, hey, look, man. When you write a lot of songs and stuff, yeah, like they run that. together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, that sh- that should just be like you, like, oh man. You know, in your head, like, yo, I forgot. You know what I'm saying? But they don't know. The, they don't know your uh, songs <laughs> yet. You know what I'm saying? At all. So you you freestyling up there. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, man. The grace. I seen the grace go forget they stuff all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> way, know how to play it all. You know what I'm saying? All, you know, they 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 forget, man. You write when you're doing a million songs and they yeah. writing a million songs, man. It happens. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you you might get caught up in the moment to to hype ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but you still got the next line. Hey, straight up. <laughs> For real, man. It happens to the best of us, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. <laughs> oh, man. I'm curious, man. What was the craziest thing that ever happened to any of you guys, man? I guess, well, I can just go one one situation. Um, I was uh, in my former group. Um, we, we was performing for, uh, <laughs> for R. Kelly one time. And, uh, oh, man, we, we was performing at, the, it was in a hotel. We was performing with, um, for R. Kelly and my shoe came off and everything man you know what I'm saying? Oh. while we was doing the, the the steps and everything and i was like damn you know what i'm saying but i had to keep going you know what i'm saying and oh, stuff nah, like that yeah did you tie up some slip ones yeah no nah, i had some t- i had some um air force ones on. yeah I, because I wore them loose and everything. And there was one move where we do this, that peak, did this move. That shit was like, phew. I was, I was hit R. Kelly and shit and they hit that joint. You know what I'm saying? Man, that shit was crazy. I think that was one of the crazy, craziest times. I don't know what I'm Before you start, did yeah. you go back and get your sneak? Yeah, I got my sneak and stuff like that. Matter of fact, Kels, yo, Kels, uh, he, he's, he, he, he grabbed that shit for us, man. And, and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's just unfortunate in his situation. Man, but yeah, whatever. it is, you man. Know what I'm saying? I, think, <laughs> I think the funniest thing that's happened to me, I was singing and I was singing, uh, I was doing a Valentine's Day set and I was yeah. singing Ribbon in the Sky. And I looked up and the lady was sitting on my lap. Oh shit. Rubbing my face <laughs> as I was singing. I did I almost panicked. I almost didn't know. No, no, she's like, I'm gonna give him some right here on set. Oh my god. Oh, she was older. Oh, she was like 60. Wow. Oh, snap. She sat on my lap. White lady sat on my lap and was, was touching my face. and was like, sing, baby. I was like, <laughs> and I still, and I, that let me know my professionalism because I just kept going. Straight and up. I didn't feel like I was singing to her. Straight and up. And then when this, the show was done, the, uh, the females was talking to me like, you are a professional. <laughs> it was like, cause I would have pushed that. You know, he said, you had a 60 year old oh, white man. woman on you. <laughs> really? Now listen. Dang. Listen, I would say, well, we're not at a stage, but we were right. off air. We were talking about, I asked him, I said, has anyone ever threw panties at him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the same show. That's the same show? Yeah. yeah. And they were, and somebody, it, might, it had to be some type of prank because it was big draws. Like, the draws was huge. Oh. So they threw him on stage. I almost started laughing. <laughs> like, <laughs> in the middle of singing, man. I was like, you know, who the hell throwing parachutes at him? Oh, it was wild, man. <laughs> We talked about artist development, right? And we talked about helping out some of the of the young singers in in the world. Have you guys? Have you any of you guys came across any, any of these young cats or young females? Like, oh damn, that that person got got that that it factor. Yeah, de- definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. What's that young lady in uh, Atlanta and anything that was working with uh, um, my man and stuff like that? You know, your man. Oh, um, Rain. Yeah, she was singer dope. Rain. Yeah, she, mm. she is dope. She's from Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, she's shout out to Singer Rain. She's no joke. Yeah, that word? Yeah, man. This is, she like a mixture of Jasmine and uh, Brandy and uh, with, a, with a rasp, with a rasp to her. Like, she's no joke. Yeah, and that, can write crazy. Definitely. Like, oh. Yeah, she's from Detroit. Yeah. Oh man, listen, listen that yeah. cat out here, um, named uh, Doc Doc Two One Five. Man, he's he dope too. Man, he's a uh, gospel. He, he does gospel rap, R and B, and everything like that. Man, the boys, he nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, shout out to my uh, my young boy from Narstown named Doc. My um my nephew from Narstown, Corey Lee. He's a rapper. Mm-hmm. He did a, he just did a song uh, with Boogie, with Westside Boogie. Um, he, so yeah, man, like it's it's a lot of talent, man. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. 
You know, yeah, he was just surprised, man. Like so many, so much talent. I'm a that young man. boy that sing gospel. He was on Sunday's best, uh, Tyree Miller. Oh yeah, Tyree Miller, he's um, monster. monster. <laughs> you yeah, know man. what I mean? Really yeah. loaded with talent, up. y'all. You know what I mean? Listen, now, and I, I want to get them all on here. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I want to get them all on here. So, how many cuts you gonna have on the mixtape? Um, looks like uh, looks like maybe sixteen, maybe. Anything for the mixtape? Yeah, man, at least. I mean, y'all yeah. dropping it deep, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. dropping it deep. Yeah, just trying to get something for everybody for right now and stuff, yeah. and then we going we gonna hit you with the EP afterwards. That's yeah. what I'm talking That's about. That's gonna be personalized. Oh my man, EP no about to be crazy. So this is just an introduction to status. That's all. Yeah. Straight up. Now we status. <laughs> this joint podcast. Oh yeah. Hey man, look before before y'all cut out of here, man. Y'all want to give some shout outs, man. Give some uh, some flowers or something to a couple of people, or I uh, definitely shout out to my family, my mom, mm-hmm. uh, brothers, sisters. You know, I mean, my friends. Uh, Everybody, man. Everybody, in this, you know, my music. Everybody in this, mm-hmm. this world, period, man. Peace, man. Peace. Yeah, oh, man. Billy Narstown, shout out to all y'all. Yeah, man. Shout out to my wife, kids. Uh, man, just shout out to, like, you know, Malik, you know what I'm saying? Our management. Definitely. You know, shout out to all. That, you know, just yeah. everybody that helped, helped with the project and everything, working on the project with us and stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody. That's, that's what I'm talking about. For sure. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, man. Again, man, man, my, my homies, man, my friends, man. These yes, boys, yes, man. Sir. These boys are family. Remember, All man, next day, man. Tape, May 20th, yeah, man. May 20th. That is yeah, man. man business, man. Oh, man business, Follow man. us on uh, Instagram. It's status dropped. Music, man. Dropped. Yep. That's uh, S-T-A-T-U-Z-M-U-S-I-K. You know what I'm saying? On IG and uh, Status Music uh, 1 on uh, YouTube, man. You know what I'm saying? And tune in, man. We, we got stuff yeah. coming for y'all. Yeah, we, we, we on all platforms. We, they killing it. For sure. Killing the game, man. Yeah. We out, man. Yeah, man. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>